Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Excellencies, distinguished delegates, honorable panelists. It is a pleasure to be invited again to speak at this gathering of great minds and bold ideas. I thank the chairman of Terry, Professor Pachori, for this opportunity. It was in 1992 in Rio that the nations of the world affirmed the principle that all human development must be sustainable. Two decades later, we are setting a new development agenda to be concluded later this year that will bring special focus to the concept of sustainable development and outline specific actions required to achieve it in all of its dimensions, economic, social, and environmental. We hope that this new agenda will complement the Millennium Development Goals framework in addressing all issues of sustainable development, including the vulnerability of countries to climate change and natural disasters. Indeed, two decades later, these issues of sustainability have become more pressing. The numerous and well-intended pledges to provide resources and to implement plans to address climate change while securing sustainable development remain largely unrealized. While we wait disappointed and undecided, we are witnessing a changing world that was neither foreseen nor anticipated when the MDG framework was drawn up. Growing energy demands from a rapidly increasing global population, which is expected to reach 9 billion by 2050, will soon outpace our fossil fuel supplies. The worldwide addiction to fossil fuels is not only unsustainable, but it contributes significantly to climate change, which compromises our biodiversity, food, and water security. As the nations of the world gather this year to finalize the post-2015 negotiations, we must not hesitate to set a truly transformative development agenda that puts people at the center of sustainable development. The report of the Open Working Group on the Sustainable Development Goals provides a solid foundation for the new framework reflecting the common consensus of UN member states. Distinguished delegates, sustainable development cannot be achieved without addressing the scourge of climate change. The fundamental connection between sustainable development and climate change is reflected in the ultimate objective of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, the UNFCCC. The convention requires that, and I quote, such a level should be achieved within a time frame sufficient to allow ecosystems to adapt naturally to climate change, to ensure that food production is not threatened, and to enable economic development to proceed in a sustainable manner." End of quote. The Maldives is one of the most vulnerable countries to climate change and its impact. This is amply demonstrated by the fact that our mean maximum temperature has gone up 0.6 degrees Celsius between 1975 and 2014, and that this has been the cause of a mean sea level rise of close to 60 millimeters over the past 20 years. This is a very serious matter for a country that barely rises 1.5 meters above mean sea level. We are in a very different situation to that of East Timor, where the president said that their country has very high ground, but we do not. Although certain countries and, and regions, such as the Maldives, are more vulnerable than others, climate change can only be confronted by humanity acting as a united global force. To do so, we must all embrace the principle of common but differentiated responsibilities to ensure the provision of financial, technological, and human resource support to the vulnerable countries like the Maldives. 
Climate change is a universal problem, and it requires an all-inclusive universal solution. However, this must not be merely in the form of good intentions and eloquent words, but must take the form of access to adequate financing, technology transfer, and capacity building without obstacles such as stifling rules and bureaucracy processes. The most vulnerable countries, particularly small island developing states, must quickly gain the necessary resources and assistance to combat climate change. We need, to help, we need help to build economic and social development in a sustainable manner today because tomorrow may very well be too late. The IPCC and International Energy Agency warn that greenhouse gas emissions are now at an all-time high, with last year going on record as the hottest in human history. We have no time to lose. Our generation's actions on climate change and achieving sustainable development will determine, as never before, the legacy we pass on to our children. We are all in the same sinking boat. We must all work together to save our planet, or we will all drown together. Thank you.